And the jury in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse continues with deliberations today. Just a day after the judge directed the teen to randomly draw out of a tumbler so the court could narrow down the panel of 18 to 12. Right now they're deliberating nearly half a dozen counts Rittenhouse faces last year when he was 17 years old. Rittenhouse allegedly shot three people, killing two during the unrest in Kenosha. The prosecution says Rittenhouse provoked the incident by pointing his AR-15 style weapon at one of the victims. The defense argues he was acting in self defense. If Kyle Rittenhouse is convicted of the most serious charge, he could face life in prison. Now take a look. Here's a breakdown of the charges he faces right now. The jury also has the option of considering second degree attempted intentional homicide and first degree reckless endangerment charges, which carry 60 years in prison. Now right now he's facing five counts, which all carry a wide range of prison times. Meantime, the community of Kenosha, Wisconsin is bracing for this verdict. Back with us now to help us break things down both inside and outside the courtroom is political analyst Quentin Giles. Quentin, welcome back to the Midday Jolt. Thank you for having me, Marcel. Now, like we just mentioned, the jury is in day two of deliberations. We know the jurors asked to have more copies of part of their jury instructions, specifically pages about self-defense. Where do you see things stand right now? Yeah, well, I think that this jury is actually taking the evidence seriously, which is what we hope for, right? We all watch the video. A lot of us already have our pre-presumed pre notions of what we think, whether guilty or innocent. Uh, but I believe that this jury, even just now, we got a breaking news alert that they are requesting or they had another question for the judge. Uh, so they are taking all the evidence seriously. They are looking through. And I think that they are really trying to determine whether or not uh, the prosecution's case of guilt is sufficient or the defense's case of self-defense is sufficient. Okay, I want to play a clip from both sides delivering their closing arguments on Monday and I'll ask about it on the other side. Take a look. In this entire sequence of events, from the shooting of Jacob Blake on Sunday, August 23rd, 2020, all the way after that, everything this community went through, the only person who shot and killed anyone was the defendant. You cannot claim self-defense against a danger you create. This case is not a game. It is my client's life. We don't play fast and loose with the facts, pretending that Mr. Rosenbaum was citizen A number one guy. He was a bad man. He was there. He was causing trouble. He was a rioter. And my client had to deal with him that night alone. Quentin, your thoughts and how much sway do you think these closing arguments will have on the jury? Yeah, well, the, the two arguments are very, very different. Um, and so I think it's I think it's going to be extremely impactful. The prosecution saying that with all the things that happened with the protests, the rioting, the looting, only one person killed someone. Right. Only one out of all of that. Um, and so I think that I think that was a very good line. I think it's going to land uh, when you just really look at the facts. You cannot create your own environment of chaos and, and, and claim self-defense. So I think it's, it's going to be very impactful. Yeah, well, we have to bring this up. Another standout moment in the trial was prosecutors holding a gun to reenact Kyle Rittenhouse actions mm -hmm. that day. There's been a lot of reaction in that on social media. Your thoughts on this? Yeah, I was totally taken back by that. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a part of me was very concerned that the prosecution uh, did that, especially uh, which has nothing to do with this. The, the, the tragic death on the movie said Russ, where a gun was discharged and you thought it was safe. So I didn't particularly like that. I didn't think it was safe. But I think what the prosecution here was doing was proving a point. When a gun is pointed in your face, you fear that. And so I think what he was trying to do was to get the jurors in the mind frame of the protesters and or rioters, however you want to describe them at that particular point of the night, what they felt, their lives were feel, uh, felt to be endangered and threatened, not Kyle Rittenhouse's. So it was definitely a very controversial move. Um, I'm getting body chills just thinking about it because that was very dangerous. But I think it was really to prove a point. Yeah, now let's pivot to what's going on outside of that courtroom as well. It's a powerful message. Right now, more than 500 National Guard troops are on standby outside of Kenosha. Local mm -hmm. businesses boarding up in preparation for this verdict. Will the country accept the verdict when it comes down? 
Either way, someone is going to be vastly disappointed. Uh, people who stand for justice, uh, 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 black Americans, brown Americans, uh, if Kyle Rittenhouse is acquitted, uh, we are going to feel as though it's a slap in the face, right? Um, because I, I believe a large amount of us view this case in one way, especially when you have the video evidence. Supporters of Kyle Rittenhouse, if convicted, they will, I've said this before on this network, they will they will essentially glorify him. Him taking the stand, I do believe, was a longer term play because he thinks he's gonna get acquitted. So if not, he will be a glorified martyr. And so someone, somewhere, is going to be upset because we have a macro understanding of this when you talk about Black Lives Matter, when you talk about a black man being shot by white cops that led to a protest that then led to the environment for Kyle Rittenhouse to kill those people. People have a very large understanding or a large idea of what this already is. So when you try to tailor it down to a micro level in this court case, passions are going to run high. So either way, half of this country is going to be upset.